Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, you probably don't know me, but um, I have some requests to do this course uh, for a computer. I'm a computer expert and um, I think I have many things to teach you about computers. For example, um, do you know what is on the left on this background? As you see, there is a RJ45 connector or a Molex for the head drive and uh, the a parallel ATA connector for the hard drive. Uh, if you don't know anything about what I said, I suggest you to follow this course as I will teach everything about computers, the inside, outside, uh, software and something like that. Okay, so let's start with very basic item that uh, you already know is the keyboard. The keyboard you use it every day and um, you probably suppose that uh, you know every the purpose of every key but I mean every key you know every key so do you know what's uh, the purpose of the F key Fancho's keys every key there is from F1 to F12 on the Apple Mac computers there are, F for, are from F1 from F10 and uh, some standard shortcuts is if you press F1 you will have the help page to help you if a F2 is rename for example if you have um, a file in Windows Explorer by press F2 you can change the name of the file or if you are in Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice Calc and you are selecting a cell you can just press F2 and change the contents of that cell or F3 is search so you are in Windows Explorer search for a file press F3 and start typing you are searching or you are in a document press F3 and search in that document very handy don't need to search for the menu and uh, I think this is very obvious maybe you know it if you press Alt and then F4 the same file the problem will close and then F5 will refresh the page if for example it works in Windows Explorer and in Internet Explorer, Firefox everything that have a refresh function um, will have some new content if you press that will be update to, to, to let if there is new content so maybe if you are searching a new file in a folder you cannot see it just press F5 it will refresh and maybe it will appear and F7 is the check spelling for word or something like that and uh, F10 will open the menu bar and shift and F10 is the right click or you can say oh, okay the right click is useless because I have the right click on my mouse but sometimes can be useful and F11 is full screen in browsers also Internet Explorer has a full screen you can see the page of full screen just press F11 and more of course for Apple computers the shortcuts are different and this case do you know what's the purpose of this well the first one is it was used uh, at least um, 20 years ago to print the screen just you press it and was it on the screen will be print on the printer but now if you press that it copied the screen in the system clipboard so you can just press that and then open any graphic program pa past it and you are done you have a capture of the window you don't have the are, um, you don't have to install some programs to do that the system can do for you also the same um, the same key has the system request function that uh, is useless well scroll lock um, is very useless a little useful in Excel well you can press it and uh, you can move the window while still um, be in the same cell mm, a little useless but the LED light for example if you have a MSN messenger you can install uh, MSN plus 
and uh, when you watch a movie the scroll of the scroll lock led will blink so you can notice oh someone is chatting with me okay let's go there and pause break is still useless it was used in DOS for pause um, execution of program or control and break at the same time you can close a program in DOS nowadays is useless um, with a program, free program named Sharp Keys, you can remap the pause key uh, to skip the track. I will teach you later, or if you ask uh, in the forum, you can register on dandadin.net forums. Um, no registration required, and uh, you can ask me some questions and help. Okay, so let's see the navigation and ed ed editing keys. There is the ins. If you press it, you can replace some character for example you can see there is a typo here so you press ins to insert and as you see oh no I press ins because I already pressed ins sorry <laughs> so I press twice <laughs> doesn't work okay so I press E and as you see the error will be replaced because I insert so very as you see, when you master this key and you have to do some edits in the text, it uh, will be very uh, easy. So, home and page up and pen down, page down. So, let's see the cursor. Uh, you can go up and down with page up and page down. Go up one page. And uh, with the home button, the cursor will be the first character and the end button will be in the end and uh, also the difference between Dell and black backspace backspace will be back and Dell will delay the opposite way the numpad is a numeric pad on the right will work only if numlock is activated Noom lock. When you press this button, this LED will turn on. So um, you can use it. If you if you cannot uh, use this, um, when you select this uh, new pad, um, you can use this key. If you cannot select, like you can see, there is the home button, page up, page down, and and the arrows, you can use that array arrows. The tabulator uh, will let you to change between text fields. So I'm here, press the tab, I will be here. Press tab again, I will be here. Very easy. If you have a form to fill, just press tab, tab, tab. Or you can do an easy table. Just write item 1, then tab, item 2, enter, longer item, tab, item 3. LGR maybe is not on your keyboard because it's only on foreign keyboards. And uh, if you press this button, it's LGR in foreign keyboards. You can access uh, some special characters that, that are here. So just press Alt and these keys. You can have the special character like uh, the 8, the that parentheses, the euro symbol. And the ESK, of course you know it, is the extra service control in the past. Now it is used to cancel operation. So just press ESK and it will be cancel operation. So you know this and you know every day you use the Control Alt and Shift keys. Control is abbreviated as CTRL. It's shown as that uh, symbol. How to say this? And shift on the keyboard is an arrow up. When you press it, it will change the letter from um, to capitals. And the Windows key, of course, you notice when you press it, open the Start menu. There are a lot of lo shortcuts, but uh, uh, maybe our this lesson I will be too long if I do it today. For for today, that's enough. So check later for other lessons and. Uh, 
sorry if my pronunciation is not very good but uh, i'm not english i'm italian and uh, thanks for watching see you next time